Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Insight. Today we're going to be looking at the Lenovo Yoga 71015. Let's dive right in. In looking for a laptop for school, I needed something that was both affordable but also very powerful, and I found this in the Lenovo Yoga. At a base price of $850, this is an incredibly affordable laptop that packs a serious punch. Doing some searching around online, I did find though that this laptop comes in a number of different configurations, so the one we're looking at specifically today is the 15 ISK Signature Edition. Diving into the tech specs, it comes with a 2.5 GHz Core i7 processor that can be turbo boosted up to 2.6, 16 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of solid state storage. It also comes with an option for an NVIDIA GeForce Discrete Graphics card for gaming and media. It uses JBL speakers, has an advanced Wi-Fi antenna system built directly into the hinge to prevent connection issues, and uses Bluetooth 4.0. In looking at the ports, I would have liked to have seen an actual HDMI port, but instead comes with a micro HDMI port, two USB 3 ports, a 4-in-1 card reader, a display port combined into the micro HDMI, and an audio combo jack. This laptop is just old enough to not yet use USB-C ports, but quite frankly I'm okay with that because it means less dongles. Looking at the physical specs, this laptop is coming in at 4.4 pounds, 0.7 inches thick. It has a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS 10 point multi-touch display, all built into a fully aluminum chassis. Diving into one of the main features of this laptop is the hinge design and the fact that it can be folded completely flat and used as a tablet. When folded past a certain threshold, the computer detects that it should be in tablet mode and it turns off the keyboard to prevent accidental inputs. This also activates the Windows 10 tablet mode for easy access to all of your programs. The hinge design of this laptop will also allow you to fold the screen to any specific angle that you would like, allowing you to prop up the computer specifically when it's in tablet mode. Now let's talk about the good of this laptop. First off are the specs for the price. At $850, you're getting more impressive specs than the 2015 MacBook Pro at a fraction of the price. These specs make it an incredible option for business use and for school use as well as some recreational gaming and media production, although heavy gamers and 4K video producers will likely find these specs insufficient and will likely need a much more powerful machine. I'm not really a gamer, but I went ahead and downloaded Skyrim via Steam and tested it to get an idea of whether or not it could handle intense gaming. Graphics performance for the game was set on medium when I ran this trial, and you can see here that the textures of the game are not fully rendering properly. With just this simple test, I can go ahead and conclude that this probably isn't the best laptop to be using for gaming. That said, the Yoga is incredibly capable and is more than powerful enough to handle daily functions as well as even very advanced Excel workbooks, VBA files, and even some mild media production. Next is the battery life. As a student, I'm generally leaving the house in the morning and not getting back until dinner time, and I'm using my laptop through the entire day, and I usually don't even bring my charger with me. On a day that consists mostly of web browsing, YouTube viewing, and Microsoft Office Suite, I can go for generally about 8 hours without needing a charge. Next is the screen. This screen is what sold me when I first saw it in stores. It has incredibly wide viewing angles, vibrant colors, and HD content on it looks beautiful. I've mostly used MacBooks up to this point in my life, and this screen rivals anything that Apple has put out in their laptop lineup. That said, it tends to best Apple in that it also has a full touchscreen display, which adds a lot of functionality and a lot of convenience when performing daily tasks. And last are the backlit keys. I love having backlit keys and quite frankly couldn't function without them, so this is a nice added but still small feature. Next are the areas where I feel like there could be some improvement, and the first of these comes down to the trackpad. On the whole, this is a very solid trackpad with smooth scrolling and appealing texture, but coming primarily from Apple trackpads, which I would hold as the gold standard, it's a fairly large step down. Especially compared to the new 2016 MacBook Pros, which have the haptic engine and they allow for a highly responsive and accurate touch, the Yoga's fairly deep click results many times in the cursor jumping, causing me to accidentally click on the wrong icon or wrong link, and quite frankly this drives me crazy. I'd go ahead and recommend a Bluetooth mouse when you purchase this, which wasn't a big deal for me because I already wanted to use a mouse anyways. And last, the gestures work, but not nearly with the accuracy of a MacBook Pro. Second is a small note on the keyboard layout. If you look at the right shift key, it's very small and sits next to the up arrow. I found myself accidentally hitting the up arrow so many times, and especially composing emails, or writing, or working in Excel. This causes me to perform unintended actions and ends up making my workflow not nearly as smooth. This honestly is a very small thing though, and with some practice you'll get used to it pretty quickly. Third is the speaker placement. These really are very good sounding speakers, and when the computer's sitting on a table, they sound fantastic. The problem is when it's sitting on your lap, the speakers are down facing, and sometimes will sit directly on your legs, They'll be muffled and you can't hear them hardly at all. 
Fourth is something very small, and it's just that the charging block doesn't have foldable prongs. So even when you're throwing it in a bag, they're always protruding, and that's just kind of annoying. Last is what I'm calling the blue screen of death. This is basically an error message that tells you your computer's restarting, and then it never ends up actually restarting. This always forces me to turn my computer off incorrectly, turn it back on, and realize that I've lost some data in the process, whatever it is that I'm working on, and that's not fun. Overall, despite some of these downsides, I seriously love this laptop to the point where I went ahead and sold all of my Mac laptops and I had three of them and have made this my daily driver instead. I'm using an iMac to do all my video and music production and have diverted all other activities to my Lenovo Yoga and it's performed beautifully. If you're looking for a moderately priced, incredibly capable machine for business use or for school use, don't look any further. This is a great option. On the flip side, if you're hoping for some advanced gaming, video production, media production, it probably doesn't have the capabilities that you're looking for and you should probably keep looking. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If it wasn't, please let me know what I can change in the comments. I'm always looking to make my videos better and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.